So one of the things that I like to do is play around with shapes and you know I really like circles and squares and that sort of thing. So I'm going to just show you guys a couple tips and tricks here on how you can make a design maybe pop or give yourself some variance on when, like on, on Redbubble or TeePublic. So here's my preset for Redbubble. I just open up a template and it's got my width and my height already predefined. So when I click OK it pops up my, my uh, template here and that's just a transparent background and then I'm going to fit on the screen so it's nice and big. Okay so I, what I want to do in this case let's pretend I want to set up uh, a US flag design but I want to make it a little more punchy than just the US flag. So I'm just going to place my US flag to start off. Here's my US flag design or it's just the flag rather and I want to make this a little more punchy. So what can I do? Hmm. Well, there's a couple things that I can do really early on to just make this work. So let's say I want to put this into a circle. I can definitely do that. So what I'll do is I'll just make this bigger by just holding down the shift key and just dragging one of the corners. I can make this quite a bit bigger. So I can make that design bigger. Then I just click the little arrow key and it says, do you want to place it? And I'll say yes. So now I've got my US flag and I really only want the left side of it. So I don't care that there's a bit leaking outside of my scope of my template. So let's say I'm going to use this with the stars and the stripes and to use this, this half of the flag. Now what I'm going to do is add a new layer. So I'm going to click the new layer button and then I'm going to just draw a circle. Now I like drawing circles in white. It's just a personal preference, but you don't have to. And I'm going to click on the little shape tool and then ellipse tool. Now I can just start dragging any sort of shape. I can make it an oval. I can make it a circle. But what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to try this again. I'm just going to delete that layer off. So I'll just say, do you want to apply? I say don't apply. And I'll just delete out the layer. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add in a layer that's a true circle. And you just do that by holding down the shift key. So I'm going to do the ellipse tool again. But when I draw the ellipse, I'm going to hold down the shift key. So that draws a circle that's a perfect circle. I can't make it an oval. See, when I move up and down, it just moves the size of the circle. So now I'm going to have a circle. Okay. So here's my circle. Now I'm just going to put the circle over top of the flag. And I'm going to just invert the layers. So I've got the flag on layer 2 and the, the uh, white circle on the top layer. I'm just going to flip it. So I'm just going to move the layer so it's on top. Now I'm going to merge these two layers together by laying one on top of the other. So I'm just going to go highlight both layers. So with the shift key I'm going to highlight both layers. And then I'm going to just, now I'm not touching anything right now, so I've let go of the shift key. And I'm just going to type the alt. I'm going to hold down the alt key and hold it right in between the two layers. So not on layer one and not on the flag. I'm going to hold it right in between and I'm going to click. And what that will do now is create a circle. Now you can see here how it's indented. So flag of the United States is now indented. And it's sitting on top of the white circle. But it's not white anymore because it's the actual design. Now I can actually move this flag around inside of that circle. So it's almost like a little peephole now and I've got the flag now sitting in here. So I can, if I don't like exactly the way it looks, I can even make the flag bigger if I wanted. So I could have it be more, you know, like that, for example. I think I like a lot of stars, so I'm going to put it like this. And it'll be about one quarter of the size. So you can see now the stars are about one quarter of this circle. So that, to me, would be an example of how you can easily make a shape around your picture. You just kind of, you know, if you want to merge them together, you just highlight both layers and then you just right click and you can just go into merge layers. So now it actually becomes just that picture. You can expand it. You can make anything else you want with it. It's like it crops it into a true form. So that's one way to do it. I'm going to show you guys another quick example here. And I'll just close this one out and I'll just create a brand new picture. So this will be the same red bubble template that I always use. And I'll just make it a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do in this case is I found a crest online and it's this just a crest from like a PNG site. So it's just a PNG file which has a transparent background. And I really like this crest but it's just white and black 
and I'd like to make it a little bit more punchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a, a layer on top of it and so I'll keep the outline of the crest but not necessarily the white and the black. So I'm going to add another layer on top of it. I'll go file in place and then I'm going to pick this fire thing here, this fire design. So I'll make this nice and big, bring it right down, and I'll put it like that. So I'm just laying the fire design right over top. And then it's just the exact same thing. I'm just, I'm just highlighting both layers. And then I'm just hitting the Alt key in between. So now I've got this crest that's all filled with fire. And it's exactly filled with fire. So if I wanted to put that in, into a sticker, then I would just merge these designs together. So now it becomes a true picture, transparent background. Okay. And then if I want to create it on a sticker, let's say I want to do a round sticker, I'll just create a new layer. I'll create a circle, put the circle on top of it, nice big white circle. And then I can move this into the middle. I can actually align these perfectly. No, it's up too high. I don't like that. I'm going to move it down a bit. So I'll just move it down. So now I could save that, for example, as a fire crest. And then maybe I put a word in there like victory or, you know, city's names or a person's name or an age, you know, 18, you know, whatever it is. Like, like you can, it, I'm just using this for examples, right? But the idea here is you've got the outline, but you've got a picture now sitting inside. It's very easy to do. Like this whole thing took me like less than five minutes, right? So if you learn like 10 main Photoshop tricks, I would say this is one of them. It's very easy to do. And it looks, I think, really powerful when you do it correctly. So I hope that helps. Uh, you know, like I say, lots of tips and tricks on this channel. So if you like what you saw, please feel free to hit the like, hit the subscribe, ask me a question, leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you guys. I hope you uh, found this helpful. Thank you.